So let's talk about an example turn. Um, for this example, I'm, I'm the first player in this round. Um, and I've got my hand here of one tile. So I have a Baron's tile, and then I drew a ley line. So if I put this in a good spot, I can maybe get a bunch of points. So I'm going to put it here. And I will then, after you put a tile into play, you, um, you put your mana turn down somewhere. And then, if the purple player was playing next, they had a three tile, a three crow tile, now they have a two crow tile. So let's see if they could put this in a good spot for themselves. Um, let's put them here. And then, when you put the three crows out, three crow tile out, you put three crows in play. And then uh, the purple player will play it there. And then after that, the blue player, they've got a one crow tile, and they've got a gem cave that they can drop down as well. So let's see here. Let's do, let's have that person put this one here, all the way down on the bottom. And that will also add a crow in. And then the blue player is going to try to mess with the purple player a little bit by playing on the gem cave. And I'll show you how that works. So after everybody's, uh, you know, drawn a tile and put their mana totem in play. Now all the crows flock to um, the different mana totems orthogonally. They all they all fly orthogonally. So basically, um, if you look at it, this crow here will fly to me here. This crow will fly to me here. These two will fly. Now, they could fly to this guy, but that's two spaces away, and I'm actually closer, so they'll fly to me. Um, and then the purple player, let me do the easy ones first. Obviously this guy will fly over here and these two will fly there. This one will fly all the way across here. I'm, I'm, I'm holding the last ones till, till the good times here. So um, The blue player will also get um, these two crows because they orthogonally they're only lined up with the blue player. Now these ones are where it gets interesting. Now normally uh, when it's split like this, because each, each set of crows is essentially one tile from each other, um, what will happen is, in a normal situation, these crows will, um, you know, one would come here and one would come here. The one that's left behind would essentially um, get confused and do nothing. But since the blue player is actually on the gem cave, the blue player will actually break all the ties, so all of these crows will come to the blue player on the gem, gem cave space. And then you total points. So now I was in the ley line space, which actually gives me double points. So normally I would get four points here, but I'm going to get eight. So I would get eight mana um, tokens or ma mana stones. Uh, the blue player here has one, two, three, four, five, six mana stones to gain. And the purple player has two, four, five to gain. Now after that, we saw we have six crows here. When you have six crows, um, you actually create a murder of crows and you will then put a mana corruption t tile which means that you can't place in the tile later on a, in a future round um, and then two of the crows will go away as a mated pair and then the other ones go out um, starting with an orthogonal tile but then going outwards in a clockwise motion uh, and the blue and the player the blue player can essentially choose where they start so let's say they choose here then they would go out like that and then basically, to end the round, everybody would take their totems back. But if you placed your totem on a barren square, and this tile here is a barren square, when you bring your totem back, you also come back with one of the spell cards that you can use in a future turn. Okay. At the end of the round, you take the first player token, you give it to the person on the left, and they begin the next round.